go. Oh, big snog, big snog, big snog, big snog, big snog. What's going on everyone? In today's video, I went out with a goal to see what I could catch while using what I think is the best bait for inshore fishing, which is live greenbacks. Let's see what we can get. I think I'm gonna start with one of these smaller white baits that I have. I really wanna see if I can sight fish some snook today. Just gonna cast them out, let them swim around. He wants to eat them. There's definitely fish here. Oh, what? What just happened? I wasn't even paying attention. What is this? Is this a jack? That would make sense. Yeah, it's a jack. That was wild. This is our reel my bait back on the surface and might have been a school of jacks or something, but this jack just came up and piped it right on the surface. That was cool. That small little jack, he just crushed that bait right on the surface. On the corner of the mouth, easy release. See you, dude. Two little snook right there. They should eat. He's on it. He just ate it. No, just pulled it out of his mouth. Oh, I was like a low 20 inch snook that I just sidecasted right there. Dang it, he had it. All right, so I switched to a little bit smaller setup. Smaller hook on my smaller rod and reel. Just kind of downgrade everything because the water is extremely clear right now. And I am seeing some fish swimming by. I want to see if I can sight fish some of them. That's a fish. That's a fish. On the cut bait. How big are you? Decent one. Decent little red on the cut bait. He's beautiful on a cut thread fin. So that's one for cut bait, zero for live bait right now. That did not take long either. Nice little red. Water's crystal clear right here. And he's beautiful. Get another cut bait out there. And keep throwing the live bait, see what happens. probably 22 23 solid fish right there he's bleeding so i'm gonna get him back in the water quickly there he goes he kicked off strong but that did not take long at all let's get another bait out there all right got another piece of cut thread fin here gonna cast it out right there let that sit on the bottom all it is is a 2-0 circle look with a little split shot above it Pick this up and be fishing my live bait with a cup bait just sitting out there. Hey, How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing pretty good. We have a seven year old that's obsessed with fishing. Really? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Can we bring him over to you? Yeah, sure.
Just got a red. Yep. There we go. One on the live bait there. Just side casted him right there. Just saw him swimming by and bait just fell right to the bottom and he picked it up. We get the release on this guy. Go say hi to these people right quick. So it's one for cut bait, one for live bait. Probably a little like 18, 19 inch here. Get the hook out of him. Little guy right there. How's it going? I'll get the release on him right quick. See, dude, oh, he just splashed me right in the face. Hi, how's it going? Uh, we watch your video. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, you too. It was nice meeting you guys. Bye. Just got that little red, so now it's one on the cut bait, one on the live bait. Said hi to a couple fans over there. That was awesome. Hopefully, they can get on some stuff, but let's keep throwing some baits and see what we can get. All right, let's see if there's anything by this oyster bar. There we go. Oh, big snook, big snook, big snook, big snook, big snook. Big snook. Okay. I'm glad we came over here now. Going in the mangroves. Oh crap. He's in the mangroves over there. We're gonna have to go after him. Oh man, please stay on. He's still on. This is a good snook right here. Never felt the meat. Come on, come on out. Got him out, got him out. Trying to get back in there. He's trying to get in there. He is in there. Come on. He's out. There we go. Perfect. He's coming this way. Come on, dude. Just ate that big thread thin right up here on the this oyster bar. Hey, big Aria. That's a good fish. Probably low 30s. That is a beautiful fish right there. Hook around the corner of the mouth. And that's a caught fish. That is a beautiful snook right there. Wow, that is awesome. Just had a 2-0 circle look right there. Gamagatsu circle look around the corner of the mouth, came right out. About 32 and a half, or no, we're at a 32, we'll call it 32. My biggest of the year right there. He is a healthy fish. Look how beautiful this fish is right here. 32 inch snook, just piped that big old thread fin right up there by the oyster bar. And he had me wrapped up there for a while, that was kind of an ordeal, but finally got him out, and now let's get the release on this beautiful fish. 32 inches, just ate that big thread fin up there by the oyster bar. Awesome fish. Get the good old tail grab on him. There she goes. I forgot to say it, but see you, dude. It's been a long day, but that fish just made it so worth it. Had the two red fish, one on live bait, one on cup bait, and then just got that 32 inch snook. I'm gonna check to see how bad he frayed me up. And then get another bait over there. All right, just pushed around the corner of the oyster bar. There's a lot of mullet over here, so I'm going to make a couple casts.
there's a fish. There's a fish. Got a red. Red on the live thready over there. Can loosen up on him. Got him out now. Not a bad one either. Probably low 20s, mid 20s. Awesome. Thought that was gonna be a snook for sure. Probably the biggest rut of the day, actually. Or about the same size as that first one I got on the cup bait. Come on out. There we go. Yeah, not a bad red at all. Live threadies are coming in clutch right now. Not a bad red fish at all on a big thread fin too. Around the corner of the mouth. Awesome red fish right there. I'm guessing 23 inches. Let's get the measurement. Right there. And right at 23 inches. Nice 23 inch red fish right there on the live thread fin right up by the mangroves. Thought he was gonna be a snook for sure when he hit it, but not too surprised there's red fish here. Let's see if we can get a good release on him. See you, dude.